All right, all right. Shalom, shalom, everybody. If y'all see me hunch over to my side, it's because I'm in a lot of pain. We're going to get this video out short and quick and right away. This is going to be about what's going on in Israel. Let's watch it. Choose okay, in, in order to... Uh, don't you stick things in my face. A pro-Israeli advocate knocked a camera out of the hands of Alison Weir, president of the Council for the National Interest Foundation. The group just finished their press conference on what they call unjustifiable U.S. aid to Israel. The two sides met when the press club scheduled a pro-Israeli news conference to follow, held in the same room. The altercation illustrates heightened tensions on differing views regarding America's relationship with Israel. The Council for the National Interest Foundation wants Americans to know how much of their tax dollars are going to Israel. Three trillion dollars. That's including a massive amount of direct money to Israel. Three trillion dollars, y'all. Then a lot of hidden costs. CNIF alleges Israel received so much aid and special treatment because the U.S. Congress is controlled by AIPAC, America's pro-Israeli lobby. Executive Director Philip Girardi says Israel spends a lot of money on U.S. elections. There are many Israeli PACs, and they do give a lot of money very selectively to congressmen that they want to support. The Council for the National Interest Foundation says many members... I told you, I told y'all the Senate, the Congress, they are crooked, man. Let's get it. So Congress fear if they don't always side with Israel, that they will face retaliation in their own reelection campaigns. If a congressman uh, crosses the Israel lobby by voting against aid for Israel or voting against some some uh, legislation that Israel favors, they very often will find that the next time they're running for office, there will be a candidate put up against them who is very well funded. Giraldi is a former CIA counterterrorism expert. He questions why why America gives aid to Israel when Israel conducts more espionage for profit against the U.S. than any other U.S. friendly country. They steal military technology, they steal uh, information that is useful for uh, telecommunications. Retired Lieutenant Colonel Karen Katowski works at the Pentagon and says Israel receives preferential treatment. We do not question what the Israelis want. Katowski believes America is beginning to take more interest in U.S. foreign policy in the Middle East, in large part due to tough economic times. More and more Americans want to know where their hard-earned tax dollars are going. All right, y'all. Let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. That's the end of this video. On that, I just want to say, Kaula Ahaya by Shimmy Shai, which is all praises to the Most High in the name of His Son. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about it.